world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. Now, I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. These videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I'll point you in the right direction for tons of videos at the end of this episode episode today. The focus for this week is drumroll. Multi select. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, press play to check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. So this one says select all of the equations that are true and they're all multiplying by fractions. I could draw out a model for each one of these, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the standard algorithm because I know that when I multiply with fractions, I can just fly across and multiply. All right, so this first one right here, it says one third of one fourth. One third times one fourth is that one seventh. Well, I know that one third times one fourth, if I'm multiplying across, one times one would be one in my numerator, and three times four would be 12 in the denominator. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. Okay, next. Next up, we've got one third times one sixth is that one eighteenth. Let me bring it on down to try it. So multiplying the numerator, I would get one multiply the numbers in the denominator, that would be 18. Yes, that is a correct answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one. Next up, we've got 3 fourths times 1 half, is that 4 sixths? Let me bring it on down. 3 fourths times 1 half. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 is 3. Multiply the denominators. Four times two equals eight. It would be three eighths and it is not four sixths. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. Next up, we've got five eighths times three fourths. Is that 15 30 seconds? I think that's how you would say that denominator. Five eighths times three fourths. Five times three equals what? 15. And eight times four, is that 32? It is, which means that this one is correct. So we can go ahead and mark that answer choice. All right, and our last one is two sixths times two fourths. Let's see if that is four tenths. Two sixths times two fourths, two times two equals what? Four. And six times four equals what? 24, right? So it'd be four twenty-fourths, not four tenths, so we cannot mark that one. So those are our two answers right up there. Pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. Again, you could have drawn these out too. This is just one way to multiply these fractions. Um, pause the video to jot down your notes, and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with anything, you've got to dedicate time to intentional practice. And that means throwing down your best effort each and every time. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers!